I was a bloke, I remember in some Essex meeting, some bikers meeting, they're almost chanting in there, you know. I sometimes think, you know, my father's a very sort of posh bank manager, and I'm here in this meeting, I've spoken in some utter dens, you know, in the pits. I've spoken in one place in Burnley with barbed wire all over the meeting. And the, I said to the organiser, why is there so much barbed wire over the, over the sort of, the meeting place? And he said, it's to keep the school march, yeah. Right, but he didn't tell me which, which part of the population he was referring to. Mm -hmm. um, shutters on the windows, <coughs> you know, and uh, there was one she-been of a place in South London, Merton or something I spoke yeah, at. Good Lord, it was sort of, you know, sort of, yeah, he's right, you know, some bloke would get up and say, you know what I mean, I, and the other bloke would say, I don't agree with that, mate, oh, I think you need sorting out, and they'd almost be fighting in the middle of the meeting, and the organiser would go down and sort of kick them like a dog. He actually dragged one bloke out, hitched him up, you better turn this off actually, hitched him up and threw him out of the meeting saying, get out, you know, you're getting out, boy. You know, it's it's a beer cellar, you know, it's sort of semi-uncontrollable. And yet you do have a power over them. They listen to you. It's interesting. Because, you know, I've, there's a few heavies there, like Steve and so on, you know, but there's a sort of, there's, you know, if it, it, but they have a sort of admiration for you in a way, because they, they, they want you to say what they can't. That's what it boils down it's to. It's not either. Yes, and, uh, and they admire you for it as well, because there's sort of, there's also a class love-hate relationship as well, you know, because they sort of, so the part of them doesn't like you and a part of them adores you and it sort of vies, the one vies with the other, you know. Um, but then patriotism's the only socialism, really, because it holds people together in their difference, because people are different.